two, one, go! Sled dogs and their drivers are off on the Iditarod. They've got 1,600 kilometres ahead of them and keen to distance themselves from dog doping and deaths. This is the world's most famous dog sled race, and for the first time in its history, dogs failed drug tests. Four animals belonging to last year's runner-up, Dallas Seavey, tested positive for a banned painkiller, Tramadol. Seavey, who has won the race four times, denied doping his dogs. He wasn't on the start line in protest. I'm one who believes we've got, we'll go another 43 years before the next doping scandal, and, and this will be... Uh, remembered as the year that the anomaly happened. Organisers have their own obstacles to navigate. Beyond doping, they've lost a major sponsor and are under pressure from animal rights advocates following the death of five dogs last year. Uh, there's always going to be an Iditarod. Um, we've, uh, I, I consider this more of a, more of a, uh, a growing process than anything else. This year's race starts in Alaska's biggest city, Anchorage, and will take the southern route thanks to heavy snow, passing through 23 checkpoints, including the race's namesake, Iditarod, to end in the remote Bering Sea community of Nome. It's expected to take the winner nine days. 67 mushers will drive about 1,000 dogs to the finish line, going all night through all weather, determined to leave this year's scandals behind them. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.